There are various timers on the market to control your lighting projects. The three main styles of timers are photocell, digital, and mechanical. Each of these timers have their pros and cons. Let's look at each one closer. Photocell timers use light sensors to turn power on and off. The benefits are they're easy to program, inexpensive, and hassle-free. In the event of a power outage, these timers will always be automatically back on schedule. No need to manually reset or use backup batteries. The downside of photocell timers are the ability to set more than one start or stop time, and they can be sensitive to light if put in the wrong place. We'll talk a little more about that during the troubleshooting portion of the video. The V10902 timer has a full 15 amp capacity. It features a 90 degree angle plug for clean installation and three output plugs. The timer settings are controlled by rotating this dial. Some of these settings are activated by the photocell located here. When power is flowing through the timer, this light will illuminate. This is an indoor and outdoor rated timer. Placing in snow, wet surfaces, or flat on the ground is not recommended. The V10404 timer has a full 15 amp capacity. It features a 90 degree angle plug and one output. This is an indoor and outdoor rated timer. Placing in snow, wet surfaces or flat on the ground is not recommended. Set your timer by rotating the knob to your desired function. Off leaves the timer off at all times. On keeps the timer on at all times. Dusk to dawn means the timer will turn on in the evening, stay on all night, then turn off in the morning. Next on the dial, we have run time settings. 2 hours, 4 hours, 6 hours, and 8 hours. If the 2 hour is selected, the timer will turn on in the evening and will run for 2 hours. If you've chosen 4, 6, or 8 hours, the same applies. To test a photocell timer, plug it into a power source, turn the dial to on. The lights should come on. To test that the photocell is working properly, plug the timer into a power source, turn the dial to the 2, 4, 6, or 8 hour setting. Cover the photocell, making sure it is 100% shielded from light, and within a few seconds the timer will activate. If you're experiencing lights that turn on normal, but within 5 to 10 seconds turn back off, check that the timer is not too close to any lighting. Sometimes the brightness from the lights trick the photocell into thinking it's day, and it shuts off. Along this same concept, be cautious of putting photocell timers in the path of headlights, street lights, porch lights, or any other type of bright light. The V10968 15-amp mechanical pen timer features a 90-degree angle plug for clean installation and one outlet. The timing settings are found under the clear cover. The benefit to this type of timer is the many start and stop times that can be programmed. The drawback to these timers come when the power goes out or if you have a breaker trip. Once the timer loses power, the mechanical timer will lose track of the time. It will need to be manually reset. To set this timer, plug it into a working outlet. Open the clear dial cover. Look for the arrow on the top right side of the dial. Turn the dial clockwise until the current time and this arrow line up. As long as this timer is plugged into constant power, this dial will rotate, keeping the current time. This timer uses pins to turn on and off. As time passes, the dial rotates. Any pins pressed in will turn the lights on. 
Any pins pulled out will turn the lights off. The V10963 15-amp digital timer is the answer if you need multiple start-stop times, setting for days of the week, and want a battery backup. This timer features a 90-degree angle plug for clean installation and two outlets. The digital screen clearly shows needed data and the six setting buttons are easy to operate. A small increase in cost over the other timers and a short learning curve are the drawbacks to this timer.